Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to put the front bumper cover back on to a Honda Ridgeline. If you're looking for the video on how to take the front bumper off the vehicle, then I will post that in the uh, description below. Um, so right now, I just have the bumper. I just kind of set it in front of the vehicle. Uh, I got it laying on some cardboard so nothing gets scratched. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to take the wiring harness on the bumper and plug it in on both sides. So we're going to take the plug and the other side of the plug is here on the bottom of the core support. So you're going to line that up and push it in until you hear a clip. And then we're going to do the same on this side. And now we're going to pick up on the bumper and we're going to set this top edge of the grill right here. We're going to set it on top of this bar and this portion of the bumper here, this bumper right here, uh, portion right here rather, we want to seat it on this bracket right here. And so now we're going to pick up on it and set it up. And so while I have it resting on top of here, I am just gonna put I'm just gonna put one bolt and I'm gonna hand start it. And the reason I'm doing this is just kind of hold the bumper up on top of the car while I get everything else situated. Um, so we have this grill sitting on top of the bar, and now we're gonna focus on the side parts that I just talked about. So we want to Kind of lift it up and we want it to be uh, set on top of here and then we're going to press it on the bar and we're going to push it back and same with this side and don't be afraid to give it a smack with your fist and that helps it get seated um, right here it's not seated yet we're not going to worry about that yet we're going to go underneath the car and make sure all of the splash shields are seated properly. All right, so climb underneath the truck here. And so what we got here is this is the bumper here. This is the bumper and these are the splash shields. And we want the splash shields to go in behind the bumper. So, so far we're looking good. And right here you can see we're bound up. So, so this is the bumper portion. And this is the splash shield. So the bumper is tucked underneath the splash shield. So that's kind of binding us up. So we're going to pull down on this. And we're going to get that seated on top of the splash shield. And it looks like same with this other side here in the middle. You can kind of see we're, we're bound up right here. So I'm just going to pull down on it. Get it over top of there. And then here on the driver's side, it's also reversed. So we're going to get this, get the bumper over top. On the splash shield and everything else see how everything else looks good all right so the bottom of the bumper here is taken care of so now we're going to the sides all right so we're here on the uh, driver's side and so this all looks correct this upper part you want you can see where these metal clips are at you want those to go behind those holes up here and then this down here this portion right here, you want it tucked in behind the bumper. So we're going to push this in. You can see this metal clip. It's got to go in behind the bumper. Push all that in behind the bumper. And now everything is seated properly. So let's go around to the other side and check that. All right, so here on the passenger side, we've got the same thing going on. This needs to go in behind the bumper. So we're going to pull on the bumper, tuck it up behind there, and everything else looks good all right so now we're gonna work on getting this uh, portion of the bumper underneath the headlight here we're gonna get this all seated and then also along the fender here we're gonna get that popped in so we're gonna check the grill on top here 
make sure that's all seated properly before we start. And we're going to start closest to the grill. And we're going to push it in. Just working our way outward. And then this part here can be a little bit tricky. Um, so what's going on here is we're going to push this in and it's hitting the spacer uh, underneath. It needs to go, it needs to go up and then in. So what I do is I put, I'll put my knee underneath the bumper and then I'll like, I'll push up on my knee to raise the bumper up. So I'll show you guys here. So I'm pushing up with my knee. You can see it. You can see how the bumper moves. Push up with my knee and then pop it in. And now we're in. And then we're just going to follow it all the way down. So now we're seated in. So we're going to ground the other side and do the same thing. All right. So driver's side, push it in, push it in. My knee underneath, push it up, and we're seated in. And then from here, it's pretty self explanatory. We're just going to uh, put all the screws and stuff back in. This is the only other part that might be a little bit tricky. You just start here on the bottom, this clip right here, you insert it back into the lower portion. And then we got the, the clip, got the clip up here, and then we got these two clips here. So just line them up with the holes and press them in, and then you're in. But of course, you got to make sure to put your screws back in before you do that. But uh, I'm just showing you how to do that to get the sides back in. But yeah, from here on out, you basically just put all the bolts, screws, and clips back in, and uh, button the bumper back up, and we're good. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.